Hi everyone, Nathan here. Um, I'm kind of ready for a break, but I feel like I'm just one match away from finishing this league. This is actually not the deck we're playing. Um, the deck we're playing has four, mult <laughs> four Molten Reigns. I feel funny saying that because it's just something I've never done. Um, you might have already heard me say this, but essentially, I forget what else is in here. It's like a something. I forget. Um, oh, it's an... I don't know what it is. Oh, it's the Supreme Verdict. Uh, anyway, so the thing is, I wanted to see how Molten Rain might do against um, Eldrazi, and I think it's just too slow. Um, sometimes even Blood Moon can be too slow, but the thing about it is, if they're able to even halfway vomit their hand, and you're behind on you know, killing their creatures, and they're just basically deploying threats faster than you can deal with them, then Molten Rain isn't going to do a whole lot for you. And I really think the key to the Eldrazi matchup... Oh, darn it. I really think the key to the Eldrazi matchup might just be a ton of sweepers. It might actually just be, like, four Supreme Verdicts or, like, four Supreme Verdicts in the Wrath of God. I know it sounds insane, but the way that you lose to that deck when you're playing Jeskai is not being able to not kill their creatures. It's that they can deploy enough creatures more quickly than you can remove them that are all significantly powerful enough on their own that you die to them. Whereas like when Affinity does that, it's not as big of a deal because they can deploy a lot of creatures, but only a few of them are individually powerful and they all sort of need each other. Um, you know, like if they have Ornithopter, Ornithopter, Ornithopter and a Signal Pest, well, the Ornithopter is useless without the Signal Pest. Whereas Eldrazi is like, they have a Reality Smasher and a Thought Knot Seer and then something else and like every single thing can kill you. So I think the thing to do is to just load up on Wraths and the best way to beat them is hope that you draw one and hope that you can slow them down just enough so you don't have to rush through all of your removal spells so that you can Wrath on turn four and hopefully that's good enough. Um, okay, so anyway, Jeskai Geist, waiting for our opponent. Um, this is the list we've been running. Uh, I think... Spell Snare has, you know, I can't remember every match now, but I know last last round against Merfolk, Spell Snare was was pretty good. Um, I think I'm fine with running it right now. Um, I mean, it's never a bad card to run. It's not my favorite card, but there's a lot of two drops in Modern, and if Modern's m more linear and just faster and closer to the ground, then I actually like Spell Snare a bit more because there's just more things that you might want to interact with earlier. Um, this is kind of a weird one. I don't think I want to keep it. It just seems incredibly slow. Like if this was a fetch land, then I think I would. But we're gonna play this tapped so then we can untap and play this and then we don't even have any removal. And yeah, I don't really like this hand. I think that this hand's better, so we'll keep it. Ghost Quarter, uh, really depends on what we're playing against. We don't have a way to, we don't have a way to shuffle it away. I will say that we have four lands, so I mean, obviously, if we play Tron, it's going to be said that we put the Ghost Quarter to the bottom. We have no way to know that, but I know that we have four lands and only two spells. So, you know, you can't. You have to just think about what's the right thing to do, not all of these random what ifs. And I think the right thing to do is to try and draw more. See, that sucks. But again, I still think I did the right thing. Now, maybe not the right thing considering the meta. I don't know. Um, so here's the question. Do we shock? Um, I don't think so. Could be a mistake. Um, I guess if he plays like Drowner of Hope or something. The reason I didn't do it was because my thoughts are, okay, he doesn't have a... What's the word I'm looking for? He, he does not have a large... Uh, he doesn't have a cheap threat that Bolt's going to kill. And he didn't. Like, basically, we would have shocked for no reason. We wouldn't have been able to kill Thought Not Seer. I guess he's going to take Remand. But it really depends on what he has in his hand. I'm going back to thinking about that Ghost Quarter decision, and I still think it's right to put it on the bottom. I mean, you can make an argument and say, well, considering the meta and this kind of a thing, but 
I mean, oh man, we're going to get completely run over this game. A 4-4 four, four in turn 2, a disruptive 4-4 four, four on turn 2, a disruptive 4-4 four, four in turn 3. Feels a bit hopeless. Yeah. Getting wrecked. Why are you waiting? You have one creature you can attack with. Do it. Forgive my impatience, but it's no fun getting wrecked. Uh, I guess we just double bolt to Thought Nuts here. I guess we can wait and... I mean, I guess we'd still kill one of these over, like, a Reality Smasher. So if we kill Thought Not Seer, then this is still going to be a 6-5, but... I still think we kill this. Draw a card. This is kind of what I was talking about. Look at all of these threats. We were behind on removing them by a lot. Molten Rain would be useless. Blood, Main, Blood Moon would... I mean, maybe if we had Blood Moon to slam on this turn, it wouldn't be as bad, but we'd still be super behind. Um, okay, <laughs> that was fast. Okay, so this, yes, um... We'll bring in the Molten Rains. Um, explosives can kill Endless One if they're still playing that. Um, Static Caster can kill their Scion tokens. I'm not thrilled about it. Uh, I believe... No, that was the blue-red one. So I think our counter magic isn't great. Um... Snare can potentially get like a turn one chalice. I don't think they're they're not doing the turn one chalice thing. I know that the the blue red one plays chalice, but um, we cut some number of these. I guess we can bring Karanov in the event that we actually. Establish board control, which is unlikely. I think we have to mulligan this. This isn't a very good hand. I mean, it has a piece of interaction, but... Okay, so this has a ghost quarter. Um, is it static caster could be useful? Oh, man, this is difficult. Is this data caster could be useful, but I'm going to put it on the bottom because I'm kind of more interested in finding something like a path to exile. Uh, okay, so Geist is an awesome guard. I love you guys, but we don't. I don't think I want Geist right now. And I actually am going to put Snap on the bottom as well. So I'm just going to shoot his temple. Did find a path to exile. Uh, 
Um, hmm. I'm going to play Flooded Strand. There's a good chance that we need to actually pass something next turn. like that. Okay, so unfortunately, unlike the last time when we were able to flash Snapcaster Man, target path to exile, and then let him do this, we're kind of forced to do this now. And if we draw a Molten Rain, then I'll want to cast it, so unfortunately I have to take some extra damage here. So the thing, well, the thing that sucks about this is we draw a card and then the other trigger resolves. So he gets really to have his way with our hand. But do you just want to run basic? Um, I'm gonna play Sulphur Falls. I mean, I think it's incredibly important not to get behind, and if he plays, happens to play something that we can electrolyze, then, I mean, he may not because he knows he have it, but he also just may because. Okay, so, um, I think we just let this happen. I think he probably takes our Restoration Angel. All right, he actually took our electrolyze, okay. That is a good draw. Uh, I th think we just colonnade and plan to path Thought Not Seer. So we'd have to take some some pain, but another path is useful. Um, okay, well, we're definitely going to path a gigantic endless one. So we have access to another path because of Snapcaster Mage. Um, that is unfortunate. Although you know it's expected, so we could like blink snap. It doesn't really matter. There's we couldn't cast anything anyway, so. All right, so because of that, I think we just go ahead and flash Restoration Angel in. I'm going to assume he has a Dismember. Um, another path is good. Three, four, five, animate, and attack. So we've actually cast three paths, well, two paths. Um, but I know we flashed one of those back. So, so I don't know say we, yeah, I guess we've, We've cast uh, 
three. Uh, okay, so we're gonna do this now, and we get to draw, and maybe we'll draw a land, and he can't take it. Same thing. So our opponent has to either kill us or gain a bunch of life. All right, so we beat Eldrazi in one game. Um, I don't think that we change anything. <clears throat> God, those thought not seers, like, even if you were on the, yeah, I drew wrath, they may just take it with thought not seer. Um, I didn't see any Cavern of Souls, actually. It's kind of it's too late to do anything about it, but I wonder if maybe this is a budget version that doesn't run Cavern. Because if that's the case, then I think that so we're going to keep this, but I'm pretty sure, <laughs> like, I uttered my own fate. Um, okay, so I want to definitely be sure to cast this on curve. This can also get a white. Uh, I'm actually going to play this, and I'm going to pass, because depending on how explosive this draw is, I may just want to pass something. That's fine. All right, so I'm actually going to get a Let's see. It might be relatively important to keep up path. So if I want to do that, I could go Sacred Foundry and then Scalding Tarn into an island. I think that's fine. I still think we're just going to lose this to a thought not here before we get to use it. Highly unfortunate. Okay, so I think we want all of these cards. Um, interesting so we're taking five um, I think we just have to path the reality smasher probably discard the serum visions i mean we we know what our draws are coming up and they're they're good so uh it's kind of unfortunate but discard a card i guess you know we could also just discard this colonnade cuz we know that we're drawing a i think i like that i think i like that better
So we can actually play Glacial Fortress, Serum Visions. Um, we can Helix this if we need to. And I think I'm fine to keep all of these as well. Let's see, one, two, three, four, uh, five. I think I'm gonna do these like this um, and just pass. Thought Knots here would be not cool. So the other interesting thing about Verdict here is his creatures are so powerful that Gosh, can we take can we take five? <laughs> I mean, we are. Um, are we drawing? I think we're drawing a Snapcaster Mage before. Is that right? I think we're drawing a Snapcaster Mage. Or was it? No, Steam Vents and Electrolyze. Maybe we already drew all that. So I think he takes the. It doesn't really matter. Okay. I guess it does matter to him. We're going to shoot that and then add his upkeep, um, snap, path, thought not seer. I guess we can wait to see like if he draws something like Reality Smasher. Okay, so we're actually in a state where if he doesn't have another creature to play, a card like Karanos would be really good for us. Could be good for us. All right, well, that's a big thing. So we can put a charge counter, put this to two, and then we can't block Drowner of Hope, which is unfortunate. Ah, oh, this deck is just, like, impossible to beat. Well, I'm certainly going to Molten Rain his Eldrazi Temple. and then just hope that he doesn't blow the bomb, but I think he will. All 
All right. So obviously we have to... So we could Helix him, but I think we just Helix the Scion. Take a little bit less damage. Oh, no, we won't, because he can just sacrifice it. So I think we just killed ourselves. That was stupid. Oh, my gosh. Man, I feel dumb for just doing that. But we So we would have drawn... We would have Helix Tim, drawn a snap, caster mage. Um, oh, that's so damn annoying. Sorry, I'm like, tilt moment, suck at magic. Not really suck, but you know, I just feel, you have those moments where you feel like you do. Um, so we were at six, so we would have gone to nine and gone to two. Um, we would have drawn Snapcaster Mage. Which would have let us let him attack, block Helix, the Drowner of Hope, um, which would have put us to five. So then we would have gone to three against two Eldrazi Scions. Um, Then we would have drawn a land. Uh, we would have gone to two. Let's see, we would have, see, we would have drawn a land. It would have tacked us down to one, actually, because we'd been at three, I think, from doing this correctly. So I think we still would have lost the match. Um, let me just double. I'm going to do that again. So we were at six. He had seven power on the board. We helix his face. We go to two. Uh, we draw snap, caster mage. Um, assuming he doesn't draw anything amazing he attacks in we flash and snap block drowner of hope helix drowner of hope um, go to five take two go down to three draw a land take two go down to one draw a path path the scion and still be dead so uh, I guess the other option is um, we would have gone to two and we could not have, we could not have snap verdicted. Um, and we don't know what else he was going to draw. This is just like a very, obviously really difficult matchup. Um, but I think the verdict was really good. So I think what I've learned is that I kind of want to do this again. I don't know that if this is the deck I want to do it with, but I th think I want to do this. <laughs> um, maybe I even want to go totally crazy and do this. Probably not. That's probably just too many. Like, Am I really going to bring in five Wrath effects? I don't know. Um, the thing is, like, if it if it's possible to beat this deck, which is questionable, um, I feel like I need to figure out my best strategy against Eldrazi before I do anything else. So I'm kind of hesitant to say, well, I also need, um, hold on one second. Okay, I just had to respond to a message really quick. Um, no, I don't remember what I was saying. Oh, like, if the Wrath effects turn out to be that good against the Eldrazi decks, then I think I'm fine to just... Um, like if I have to feel like if I have to run five to beat that deck at the expense of everything else for right now I think I'm okay with doing that but I kind of want to try four makes me wonder if I actually need this explosive if I'm going to run this many wraths um, 
I mean, it's still good against other things. I wonder if this is even realistic. Bring in all of this and just try to kill and wrath, kill and wrath, kill and wrath, and then get ahead with a Rev or a Karanos. Maybe at that point this would better be better to just be an Elspeth. I think Elspeth is okay against Eldrazi. Uh, if we live that long. I don't know. I'll do more theory crafting later. Uh, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I appreciate the support. And draw well, smash face, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.